Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we're going to be doing a really fun test on some AR500 body armor. Now we're no strangers to this armor. We've shot a lot of this stuff in the past and uh, we always have fun with these videos. And today we're going to be shooting them with a wide variety of different hunting cartridges. Hunting uh, season's right around the corner. I can feel the air starting to get a little cooler. The deer are starting to move around. Guys, hunting season is nigh upon us. So we thought it'd be fun to kind of shoot this armor with some different hunting rounds. And guys, the thing is, a lot of these rounds that we're slinging at this armor today are definitely not a slouch, okay? Uh, this is a level 3A plus uh, rated piece of armor. And of, co of course, they have a lot of different carriers and everything that they offer. I've just got my old Safari Land carrier here because we are gonna be pretty much ruining the armor carrier, but you'll see some shots of uh, some of the other carriers they offer. And they've also got a lot of uh, new options for armor since the last time we've done videos on their stuff. Um, now, this particular piece of armor is rated for multi-hit protection against 556, uh, M193, uh, M855 that's running at 3,100 feet per second, give or take 30 feet per second in either direction, and that's multi-hit protection. Also, M80 ball at 3,000 feet per second. So it's rated for some pretty gnarly threats and in multi-hit category. So I've already got one of these plates in here. We're gonna start out by backing off 50 yards, hit it with a 4570, 300 grain Fort Scott uh, munitions TUI. That's a pretty gnarly round and uh, 4570 is no slouch. So let's start out. We're gonna, we're gonna cover some really cool classic hunting cartridges today to get you guys in the mood for hunting. And we're gonna shoot some armor because it's fun. So let's do it. All right, guys, we backed off to 50 yards. We're gonna take a little Henry single shot here with a 300 grain TUI. Go ahead and send a round down range. This is a uh, very handy type of setup here. Very indicative of what a hunter might use. So, and of course I don't have my <laughs> extended hammer spur on there. I'm wearing gloves. All right, we're gonna launch one into our level 3A plus plate here. All right, we're on the plate. Let's go see what happened. It sounded like it hit with some pretty good authority there. All right, so that 4570 smacked it pretty hard. And the thing is, you can't deny kinetic energy. Energy is energy. Your body still has to stop the round, you know what I mean? It's still going to hurt, guys. But, you know, I, I can't imagine a situation where, you know, you would be shot at with a person with a hunting rifle. But if you do, you're good to go. That's looking pretty good. The uh, anti-spalling coating did its job. Uh, we don't see any spalling getting out of our, uh, our little Safari Land carrier. That looks pretty good. So uh, i tell you what, we're going to back off to 100 yards and we're going to continue to pelt this thing with a variety of different hunting cartridges. This is going to be fun. So uh, let's give it a try. All right, we backed off to 100 yards. We got a 1951 Marlin 336 and 35 Remington. A well-storied gun, by the way. Well-worn and well-used. Uh, definitely a hunting rifle, right? 35 Remington. This is a Hornady 200 grain FTX lever revolution ammunition. All right, let's plug this armor. 35 Remington is a great cartridge. Let's see what kind of energy we deliver to the target. Oh yeah, that was a hit. <laughs> Man, this round will absolutely rattle your cage. Um, Really cool stuff. Let's go see what kind of damage we did to the armor. I have a feeling the armor shrugged it right off, but that still would have to be a scary thing. To be out in the field hunting, minding your own business, for whatever reason, you're wearing your body armor, because you know, I don't know, reasons. And all of a sudden, bam, you get shot with a hunting rifle. Would you survive? Let's go see. All right, guys, let's see how the 35 Remington fared here. All right, initial observation, no spalling made it through the uh, cloth here. That means our plate's doing its job in terms of the anti-spalling characteristics. Ooh, scary stuff. But you're alive. That's the most important thing. You know, that round has still got some energy. It may not have the velocity of something that would be armor piercing. Like if you hit this thing with a, a really gnarly 338 or if you hit it with a 408 shy tack or a 50, it's got the energy to make it through. But, you know, it's just crazy to think. A lot of people associate, oh, well, body armor, you know, a guy with an AR or, or a 308 AR-10 or something like that, they always think 30 cal and 223, because I guess, you know, those are the standards for this sort of thing. However, you know, hunting rifles carry some energy. All right, we're gonna send a 9.3 by 57 downrange here. Uh, give it a try. Let's do it. 
See if we can shoot our armor here. <laughs> that felt like a nice solid hit there. Let's go have a look, see what happened. All right, we're not gonna talk about these two bullet strikes up here on the top side of the carrier. Let's just say that that 9.3 by 57 with that lighter bullet shoots really high and I stacked two right on top of each other and we tore our straps up. But then on our shot there, we were able to get it on the plate and we ripped our zipper apart. That's okay, that might close back up. All right, let, let's look at the plate. Now anti-spalling looks good and it caught it. That's a lot of energy. I don't know if you saw there. I mean, it smacked the ever-loving crap out of this stand. Definitely a lot of energy going down range. 9.3 by 57 is no slouch. That's a lot of bullet. All right, we're gonna run a Ruger M77 Mark II all-weather, uh, all stainless and 30 alt-6. We're gonna run the new Norma Bond Strike 180 grain alt-6 round here against the uh, body armor. Uh, this particular round, uh, it's, it's pretty gnarly. We're gonna have a test on it coming up, uh, so just stay tuned for that. And uh, I love these Ruger bolt guns. They're, the M77's definitely one of my favorite rifle actions. Ooh! <laughs> All right, guys, 30 alt six, definitely not a slouch. A lot of bullet going down range there with that 180 bond strike. All right, let's pull it out and have a look. All right, now I'm gonna make an observation that we have separated our coating from the plate. Yep, woo! <laughs> that 30 alt six did her in, in terms of getting the, the coating. Now, another thing, look back here where that uh, 4570 hit earlier. <laughs> wow, it flattened out that 4570 uh, TUI. All right, that's what that is. Guys, there's a lot of mass going through this anti-spall coating and this is multi-hit rated, okay? That's a lot of rounds going down range hitting that plate. Now we got one more to try. Now our anti-spalling coating has pretty much give out after this fourth uh, you know, big bore round. That's a lot of mass uh, to stop that, uh, that round, okay, in that anti-spalling. We did get a little bit of spalling go out of the side of the plate here, but you're not gonna stand around and get shot four times in the chest with a high caliber, high power hunting rifle, okay? So I'm gonna put this back in. We're gonna shoot it with a seven millimeter Magnum. Now we're getting some speed going. Now I, I know it's gonna, you know, the spalling isn't gonna catch, but let's shoot it anyway. All right, we're stepping up to seven millimeter Magnum. Okay, we got a Savage uh, Model 111, a Savage. Anyway, let's have some fun here. Uh, we got 140 grain Winchester, extreme points, what they call it. It's basically just their white box deer season hunting ammo. Uh, nothing overly fancy here, but we're gonna give it a shot. Belted Magnum cartridge. At the uh, muzzle, this thing is 3,100 feet per second. By the time we get down to 100 yards, uh, our velocities are gonna be down in the 29, high 29, so this is mm, on the edge, guys. Let's see what happens. This is a smoking round. Seven millimeter Magnum is no joke. All right, here we go. Seven mag, good general purpose hunting round right here. Whoa, man, that, that has some power and some speed. I don't know, did the armor stop it? All right guys, seven mag, definitely no joke. I wanna make a, a quick mention about this carrier. This is a soft armor carrier it's not really designed to handle what we're throwing at it. So I kind of figured it would get dripped up, you know, especially after the anti-spalling gave way uh, on this particular plate. The carriers the AR-500 makes are all Kodora, really, really heavy duty carriers. And you'll see a shot of those. I just didn't want to ruin those carriers uh, in this particular video yet. We're going to, but just not in this video. All right, all right, let's have a look. Okay, so the round impacted a little high on the plate. And of course, the anti-spall we knew was already loose on it. And it tried to get through. There's a bit of indentation and it's kind of cool that it hit near the edge too. Cause a lot of times on a lot of steel, the edges are susceptible to being damaged, but it held it. 
Now, I wouldn't want to be standing down there and take that round, but it's nice to know that if you're in a hunting situation, I don't know, maybe you're a law enforcement, game warden, whatever, and you're going out to check on a spot, and or I don't know, whatever situation, um, we didn't, weren't really trying to prove anything. This is just kind of a what if. Uh, you're wearing body armor and you get shot with a hunting rifle, so it's nice to know that just about every hunting rifle out there, you know, this armor is going to stop it. 3A+. Plus. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We always love testing body armor. Go check out AR500. They're good people, great products, lots of good selection. Uh, definitely want to thank all of our Patreon supporters, folks who purchase man cans, t-shirts over on the website. All the funds we earn go right back to supporting the channel. Thank you for being a part of what we do. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.